YouTube, it's Shiny Monet back at it again with another YouTube video. So in light of it being homecoming week at University of Illinois, which is my undergraduate college that I attended and graduated from back in 2018, spring of 2018, they are having homecoming this week. And as a fellow alumni, yes, 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 fellow alumni, as a fellow alumni, I'm going to celebrate in my own special quarantine way. And I'm going to tell you about my U of I experience. So hopefully this video can help any prospective students looking to attend U of I or some of my fellow alum. Hey, comment below or the students that's attending there currently. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Don't forget to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. All right, so the glasses had to come on for this one. <laughs> All right, so I was a freshman at U of I back in 2014, fall of 2014. And the reason why I decided to attend the University of Illinois was because it was many factors. For one, it was very close to home. It was only two hours away from my hometown in Chicago. And for two, I love the academic programs that it provided. I knew I wanted to major in kinesiology and eventually I planned on going to physical therapy school. So they had a really amazing kinesiology program. And also I did gymnastics. So I knew that I wasn't gonna have enough time to try out for the team or anything, but they had a gymnastics club and I joined that. And they had so many organizations. The opportunities were endless. And that was the main reason why I chose U of I. The, op the opportunities are like, it is so many opportunities when it comes to organizations, to whatever lifestyle you're used to. So they had a very diverse population, which means they had a variety of races, but they also had a variety of personalities. So if you were the type of student that wanted to go to college and party, then U of I was, U of I was for you. If you were the type of college student that wants to go to college and buckle down and just study, U of I was a college for you. If you was the type of student that was really into sports and organizations and fraternity and sorority, or if you were into arts, like if you were an artsy person, whatever it was, U of I had that crowd. And that's what I really wanted because growing up, the schools that I went to, they were not very diverse at all. And they were very small. <laughs> the high school I graduated from, it was only 40, I think it was 40 seniors, maybe 50 at the most, but I think it was around 40. The middle school I graduated from, <laughs> they, we had like 40 students. My elementary school, I think it was like 500 kids in the whole school. And that was from kindergarten to fifth grade. So I'm used to pretty small schools. And that was another reason why I chose to go to U of I because the population was really huge and even though I knew that would limit my one-on-one -on -one time with the professor, I knew that that would give me a really great opportunity to branch out and discover who I wanted to be. So if I get there and I thought, if I get there and I fit in with one crowd, but later on I develop and I grow and I want to, and I want a change of scenery, I just want something different, then they had all those options. They had so many majors. Like if I wanted to, if kinesiology did not work out for me, which it did, I stuck it through, graduated with a kinesiology degree. If that was not the case, there were so many other majors that I could have chosen from. So that was a really big thing for me. I didn't want to be limited in any aspect of my college career. Like I really just want to feel like there were so many opportunities in a variety of ways. And that was my main reason of choosing U of I because of all the things that they offered. And also, you know, I am a foodie. They have really great food on campus. They have a campus food town. And if you go down Green Street, it's just a whole bunch of restaurants lined up through there. If you go down Neal Street, it's a whole bunch of restaurants. And it was just gonna be some really good eating. So I didn't wanna go to a college where, you know, you're in like those really small towns and the best restaurant in town is McDonald's. Like, I didn't want that. I wanted to feel like everything was just, right there near me they had a great mall they had a lot of things going on in the champagne urbana area in general like um you could never really get bored on campus if you got bored is because you chose to be bored but if you did not want to be bored you didn't have to <laughs> 
Canvas is like really huge and there's so many opportunities. And if you don't even want to take the opportunities on campus, then you can take the opportunities in the community. Um, so I really appreciated my time in Champaign. It was one of the best experiences of my life. They say college is the best time of your life. I would like to think that I have some more amazing times coming as well, but that definitely was a highlight of my life. And my journey throughout college, like my growth is extremely, it surpasses anything that I ever expected. And I definitely feel like I can owe that to the endless opportunities that were available at U of I. I didn't feel limited in any way or capacity. Now, another thing that I did just mention was not having that one-on-one -on -one time with a professor. That's actually not the case at U of I. At U of I, I was, I were in some really large lecture halls with like thousands of students. My chemistry class, my biology class, physics, all of those classes were like huge. It was between like 500 to 1,000 kids. Anatomy, I meant students. <laughs> but it was between 500 to 1,000 and that would probably intimidate a lot of people. But there were not, there was not one professor that I could say I did not have one-on-one -on -one time with. I literally sought out that one-on-one -on -one time and sometimes and you don't even have to seek it out yourself the professor will let you know that they're having office hours and when you go into those office hours it'll be like 10 other students in there or if that's still too much for you you can also request one-on-one -on -one time and that's what I did with my chemistry professor hi professor Gretchen that was my favorite professor at U of I she taught chemistry they were really willing to help and if you wanted to feel like a really big class and you can make it feel that way if you wanted to make it feel like a really small class you can make it feel that way too by going to different office hours and study groups they had TAs um, that kind of broke the class down into smaller portions so like you will have lecture one or twice a week once or twice a week and then you would have your session with a TA once or twice a week which was very helpful as well so if you didn't want to take that extra time out to go to office hours and you know if you're afraid to speak to the professor and email them then you can you know still have that one-on-one -on -one time you can still have those small sessions that's already get that's already placed in your schedule with the TAs so that was very helpful I would say the only thing I wish I would have thought about and considered a little bit more in my decision of attending U of I was the scholarships. So back in high school, I was valedictorian. Yes, thank you. Um, <laughs> and I was accepted to 10 colleges. I made sure I applied to a certain amount of colleges. So I had the option, but I knew, I already knew in my head that I wanted to go to U of I. I didn't care if I got accepted to Harvard. I didn't care. I wanted to go to U of I because of the endless opportunities and that's all I cared about. I didn't care about any of the Ivy League private schools. U of I is considered one of the Ivy League public schools, so I was okay with that because of everything that it represented. So to say all of that, um, the other schools that I got accepted to, I did get scholarships to, but U of I was the only school out of all the schools I applied to was the only school that I did not get a scholarship to. But I knew that I wanted to go to U of I and it's very unfortunate that I did not get a scholarship. And the main reason that is also, I did not know of the many scholarships that were available to me. There are so many African-American students on campus that had this scholarship. I think it was called the I Promise Scholarship. So the Promise Scholarship, I'm not sure. If you know what I'm talking about, comment below. But um, I did not know about those scholarships. And I wish I would have just digged a little bit deeper about those scholarships so I would not be in the amount of debt that I am in right now. Comment below if you want to make a video about that. But fortunately, now U of I have it where you can actually attend there four years, four years, <laughs> where you can attend there four years for free. That's very beneficial. I wish they had that when I was there and I wish I would have taken advantage of the different scholarship opportunities that they provided. So that was one of my biggest downfalls and I'm definitely paying for it now. So moving along though, my freshman year at U of I was completely amazing. Um, I went through many obstacles. I will be making some videos about some of the crazy things I went to, some of my crazy times. Again, this is homecoming week, so look forward to me uploading some videos this week about different story times, my crazy roommate story time, my first party there. Um, I have a lot of interesting moments, but uh, I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm just going to do an overview for this one. 
So subscribe and turn your push notifications for those videos. First thing first, quad day is the day you need to go to. I know right now um, we're in quarantine season, so they probably didn't have it this year, but if you if you plan to attend U of I next year, I'm quite sure they'll probably have it, which is quad day. And that's the day, that's the day before classes start and all of the organizations and sororities and fraternities and uh, honor societies and just, it's like, I think, I think, I think, I think it's like a thousand organizations that are out there. Probably more, probably a little less, but um, that's where you really get to meet people and, you know, you might bump into your new best friend. You might um, find some really, some really cool organizations that you can be a part of. And that was a really great experience because I swear I signed up, I signed up for like 10 organizations. I was a member of the Flippin' Illini Gymnastics Club. American Medical Student Association, Kinesiology Student Association, Ambassador of the Applied Health Sciences Student Council, President of the Free Physical Therapy Club, President and Founding Member of the Consumer Wellness Advocate Program, and President and Founder of the Black Love Society. And I stuck through with a lot of them throughout my college time. So that was um, a really great experience. Now, as far as choosing dorms at U of I, uh, I probably should've talked about this before then, but they even have a lot of new dorms now. So if you're currently going there, I would say comment what's the best dorm there is now. But when I was going there 2014 to 2018, the best dorm on campus, best dorms were the Eikenberry. They were called the Six Packs previously. I don't think they call it that anymore, but the Eikenberry is pretty much a series of six dorms and it includes Bowsfield, Nugent, and it used to include Scott, uh, <laughs> It was a couple of other names, but they tore it all down. But Nugent and Bowsfield are definitely some great dorms to stay in. My freshman year, I had to stay in FAR. Uh, <laughs> and FAR is like that really big dorm all the way in the back, far back of campus, next to the graveyard, across from PAR, which is another dorm. And yeah, <laughs> so it's gonna take you a nice little commute to get to your classes. And my experience personally wasn't that bad staying at FAR because I had a triple room to myself, like three closets, two beds, like big room. I wanna tell you how that happened in my next video, crazy roommate story. Um, I'll tell you how that happened, but I didn't really mind it because of that. But my sophomore year, I stayed at Bowsfield and that was in the six pack I can bury. So, that was really, that was a new dorm and I had my own bathroom and it was really spacious and it was really great. So I don't wanna make this video too long. So like I said, I wanna be breaking these videos down into segments, but some quick advice I do wanna to give to you if you are attending there or you plan on attending U of I. So number one, your advisor is going to convince you to take some really hard classes your first semester because in their mind, it's much easier for you to take it now so your senior year won't be so stressful and you can just knock it out. I'm telling you, my biggest regret was taking chemistry and biology, all those things, my first semester. Why? Because your first semester will be your most stressful semester. And when I say that, you're going to be, you have to remember, this is a new experience for you. So you're not just going to be having to open up to new learning styles with your new classes but you're also going to be experiencing things with maybe your roommates, with organizations, and just trying to get a feel of where you stand on campus. Like, what is your place on campus? So if you're taking these really hard classes on that first semester, it's going to be really tough to explore that, and you're going to really just be stressed through a lot of it versus if you maybe take one hard class and then have like a light load. Don't do a hard load. Do as light as you can, do a nice light load. So one hard class, and then some easier classes like uh, some genets. <laughs> I took like a dance class to satisfy one of my genets. So something like that. That's my main big thing, but advisors will try to do that to you. And if you don't speak up, you don't know how to really talk to your advisor, then it can be really complicated. Number two, once you become a sophomore, do not move into an apartment. Some people may feel differently about this, but I know for a fact that I knew a lot of people that moved into apartments in sophomore year and they really regret it because you think that, you know, you're a higher grade level now and you got it, but it's really challenging. You need that one extra year 
you need that one extra year just to get a little bit more of a feel on campus and just have that strong base of, I mean, having the having the cafeteria still cook your food, which the cafeteria food is really good if you go to Eikenberry. Certain dining halls are good. Eikenberry Dining Hall is good and UZ Evans is good on Fridays. FAR is good on Thursdays, so food Thursdays. But as a sophomore, you do not want to be trying to figure out how you're going to go to the grocery store, how you're gonna cook your meals and still prepare for your classes and everything. I really just say, leave that up to junior and senior year. Those are the years you probably don't wanna be in dorms anymore because a lot of your friends are gonna be moved out into sorority and fraternity houses at that point or uh, you're gonna be in their apartments. And that is a good time, I would say, to go ahead and get an apartment. And that's pretty much what I did. I stayed at West Quad. So that was um, on 30 East Green Street and that's a story for another day but that is another advice take your time with it don't rush to do things like that my third advice is go to office hours find study groups have a lot of fun in college at U of I but also those office hours are the reason why I was able to just just get I was able to just get through it and you know get my diploma <laughs> had to pull out the diploma That's the reason. Um, my major was kinesiology. It's a tough major. Um, but I also had to take like chemistry and physics and biomechanics, bioenergetics, and office hours saved me a lot. Get as much help as you need. It's a lot of help available at U of I. And if you use that help, you can easily get through it. If you're afraid to use that help, and it's just gonna make things a little more complicated, but that's my advice with that. My fourth piece of advice is connect with people do not be a hermit you of i have so many students a range of students a large range and whether that means like just having a study buddy a friend or anything like that get into organizations it has so many opportunities and one of your biggest regrets will be not getting more involved on campus because there are so many of it there are so many opportunities available and when you really get into the different like organizations and just the things that the school have that it makes your college experience 10 times better like so much better it makes it just <laughs> it's pretty much the college experience and you can do that while also having a really healthy academic life as well in college so and my fifth advice is simply do not stress U of I can be really overwhelming because they have so many things that is going on. You're going to have to have a really nice balance of your social life versus your academic life versus your organization life versus your family life going on back home and just your personal health. So it's like just really trying to figure out that balance, but also not stressing about it, not thinking too hard about it. Um, just really living in the moment and enjoying your time because you're only an undergrad student one time in your life. So really enjoy it and just don't stress about it. Don't think too hard, but make sure you are keeping those different areas in your life uh, in a healthy balance. So that's pretty much my advice. Uh, like I say, stay tuned for these upcoming videos I will be posting or some more specific events that happened to me in my college career. But thank you for tuning in to this video. I am proud to be a U of I alum. So like, comment, subscribe, turn on those push notifications and I'll see you back on the next video. I-L-L. -L. That's where you're supposed to say I-N-I. I-L-L. -I. <laughs> -L -L. Yeah, you probably didn't say it, but see you next time, guys. <laughs>